Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Uh, just at the store again. Um, I didn't make a video yesterday. My body decided that um, many weeks of four hours of sleep a night was not good. So it decided to pretty much just shut down and not let me function. So um, I didn't get much done yesterday. Um, as far as store related stuff goes, I was absolutely exhausted. I just couldn't really do much. So uh, I just stayed at home and I rested and um, just caught up on my sleep and did that kind of stuff. So uh, that's why there was no video earlier. Um, yeah, I got some more Pokemon card stuff done, but I'm sure you guys don't care about that anymore. So um, I'm not gonna post up unless something really awesome happens or maybe a quick update or something about that. Uh, last thing is uh, my hot water heater broke. Um, went to go take a shower and there was no hot water at all. Well, there was, but it was like very, it was like, not even as hot as like uh like a cup of tea like just very very cold for hot water so um i was a few minutes late this morning because uh had to wait for the hot water repair guy to come by so he came by and pretty much told me that somebody had come by and um uh hit the uh the temperature control on the the machine that i didn't know uh was there i checked the pilot light and stuff but i didn't notice the uh the knob for the temperature thing so that's all that it was. Someone just accidentally hit that or moved it or did something to it. So we had no hot water from that. So that was that. Um, and yeah, not much else going on. Just gonna start tackling some games today, get back to the normal swing of things, organize the store a bit. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, make some consoles happen because uh, we're really low on consoles right now. Uh, and the, cabinets look, the console cabinet looks really empty. So I'll do my best to try and get some stuff out for that. Um, I know I got a, a DS light going out today, so that'll at least help for that. So yeah, that's all that's going on so far. I'll update you guys with any other things that happened throughout the day. So we got tons of games going out today because um, I haven't really been processing the last couple days. So we're going to start off today with some DS stuff. I got this absolutely gorgeous Cobalt uh, DS Lite going out today. A couple copies of Mario Kart 7 and uh, Planes Fire and Rescue for the DS. And just kind of some common cheaper stuff for um, the regular DS. So nice little way to start off the day. And uh, tons more stuff going out. So I got to start working on that. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys shortly. So I just got the original Xbox games done that are going out today. There may be a couple more that I'm missing, but I think this is pretty much it. Um, some common stuff in there like Madden and Tiger Woods and stuff like that, but some good stuff. Like uh, Destroy All Humans 2 is a really fun game. I got a sealed copy of Fable 1, which is good. 20 Hawk games are always awesome. Uh, Army of Insurgents War is really good. So, and X-Men Legends 2, those are really good games. So uh, yeah, definitely some good stuff. And uh, I'll update you guys with more stuff as I progress throughout the day. Uh, One of the good things about being at work when it's a torrential downpour outside is I get to watch some of my favorite favorite streamers online while I uh, clean some games. There's just one of them here, just watching him. He's designing some uh, very specific wheels for a very specific car. Um, so he goes through the whole thing about strength and stress testing them all and you know weight reduction and uh, some symmetry and all that kind of stuff. It's really interesting to watch if you're into kind of like uh, mechanical engineering type of stuff. So pretty cool. So it's been a pretty busy one today. Uh, it's about 4.30 right now. Uh, we did maybe like a half an hour, 45 minute Instagram uh, live. Well, I just went through some stuff with some people and showed them how to clean games and just talked about store related stuff. So I've been doing that. Um, got out the DS, 3DS stuff, the original Xbox stuff, and I just finished up the PS3 stuff. So I'm just going to uh, stack that up. We'll show you guys what we got going on for PS3 today. And um, then I'll take a picture of it and post it up on our Instagram and Facebook. And go from there and then i gotta work on these ps2 games and 360 games but uh yeah probably put out maybe 70 games or so already today uh which is really good um had some buy-ins for some complete box game boy advance games and uh yeah so not not too bad really busy so far today um and uh sold a whole bunch of those pokemon mystery packs so if you guys are interested in those you might want to come in and grab them because uh i've only got so many uh packs to keep refilling the bin with so uh yeah that's pretty good um and I'll see you guys shortly with what the PS3 games look like. So just real quickly, these are the PS3 games are going out today. We've got 40 of them. Some really good titles in here, like uh, Fallout New Vegas, Kingdom Hearts uh, HD 1.5 Remix, uh, Army of Two is really fun, Assassin's Creed 3, Bioshock, Call of Duty Black Ops, Dark Souls, Deadpool, Far Cry. The Far Cry compilation is actually kind of uncommon. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy uh, 13 and 13 2 aren't really the greatest Final Fantasy games, but they're definitely decent. Um, never played the Game of Thrones. Uh, what else we got? Uh, 
Infamous is good, God of War is always good, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, South Park Stick of Truth is really fun. So yeah, lots of pretty good PS3 games going out right now. So there's the PS2 stuff uh, going out today. Um, pretty similar as the uh, last video or the video before that. Uh, a couple of new guys in there like Dot Hat, Hack Infection and whatever. But uh, some really good, I, I think every one of these games is a super solid game. Um, Just of the Heroes, I haven't played that one. Uh, but yeah, all the rest are, are really good. So yeah, definitely a good day to pick up PS2 games for Retro Replay, that's for dang sure. Today was a very, very busy day. So got tons of games out today. Um, even stuff I didn't show in the video. Um, a lot of people came with problems, uh, like just with their systems and stuff. So I helped troubleshoot a bunch of people with things. So that was really good. Um, lots of transactions, lots of sales, very busy. I'm going to treat myself to some takeout tonight because I think I deserve it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go through the basement all tonight, but I might. And uh, I got tomorrow off work, so we'll see how that kind of goes. But um, yeah, it, it's been a very busy day. A little very productive. Um, kind of hard to see, but this was stacked with games earlier today. And all I got left is the, uh, the 360 stuff and a couple oddball things, a couple PSP games and stuff. So it worked out really good. So busy, busy, busy day today. Um, had some buy-ins, had some trades. Um, yeah, so it worked out pretty good. So um, I'll see you guys in a few most likely. Um, if not, um, then thanks for watching. But uh, yeah, I'm most likely will see you guys in a few and just uh, let me show you some other things that might be going on after work. So I'll see you guys shortly. Happy Thursday. It's our day off. Um, just going to the thrift store to see if there's any fun stuff we can pick up for the store or for ourselves. So uh, yeah. See if there's anything good there, but fine for you guys. Hey guys, so we're just on our way to the second value village. We found uh, an original Xbox game, an Xbox 360 game at the previous one, so hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck at uh, this one coming up. We're just on the highway right now. Don't worry, I'm not holding the camera, so I'm just talking right now. Well, it's being filmed, but uh, yeah. So we will see you guys very shortly at the next location. So here we are at stop number two. We're gonna see if we find anything good inside. So we just got out from Value Village. We actually had a really good haul of stuff there. So I'll show you guys all the stuff that we get at the end, but uh, yeah, that was that was really good. We got lots of good stuff. So here's our next Value Village we're going to in Cambridge. So hopefully we can find something as awesome as the last place. See you guys soon. So we managed to find some okay stuff in there too as well today. Um, they had some things that were really crazy priced, like uh, untested Game Boy Color for $50, untested, um, DS's for $50. I don't know where they're getting their prices from. Uh, a lot of um, Game Boy games like double our retail. So I don't know if someone's just um, in the back room just randomly coming up with prices or looking on whatever people are asking on Amazon for prices. But uh, yeah, they have some astronomical prices on video game stuff. So hopefully eventually they'll, they'll figure out that maybe selling things for above retail of an actual video game store even though there is a video game store in the same plaza as this value village uh, maybe they'd figure out that's probably not the smartest idea so this is going to be our last spot for the day and hopefully we find something good we're just at the grocery store we're getting some apples people are looking at me like i'm weird that's okay because i kind of am weird all those weird people i found this sweet uh 80s uh, Mazda RX-7. It's uh, the one before the FC. Uh, I forget the chassis code for that one, but oh, FB maybe, but really cool for a buck. All right, guys, so we're back from the day and uh, I'll just show you guys the stuff that we picked up for the store. I uh, found this pretty interesting. It's uh, X-Base uh, QFX uh, Bluetooth USB SD card cassette playing boombox. Um, I looked it up online. They go for around like $60 US. Um, which is kind of cool. We're probably going to end up selling it for around like 25 or 30 bucks. But uh, yeah, I tested it out. It works totally fine. Um, and as far as game stuff goes, we'll just uh, sort by system here and go from there. So we got uh, The Sims for the GameCube. We also picked up, uh, that's a good find, Harvest Moon for the GameCube as well. Uh, Soul Calibur 5 for the Xbox 360. My dog just knocked over the boombox because it's new and exciting and she has to smell it. Uh, we've got Dungeons and Dragons Heroes for the Xbox. And for the original Xbox, we also grabbed Need for Speed Underground 2. Uh, for the PlayStation 3, we picked up NASCAR 2001. We also picked up NASCAR Unleashed. And we picked up uh, Monopoly. 
And then for the Wii, uh, we picked up a really good game, Lost in Blue, Shipwrecked. And we picked up Wheel of Fortune. Um, kind of surprised to see these at any value villages or any thrift stores, but for 10 bucks a pop, I got Forza Horizon 3 for the Xbox One, and I got uh, Skyrim Special Edition for Xbox One, uh, which is kind of shocking. And last but not least, we got some PS2 stuff, uh, a game I've never seen before, or at least I can't recall ever seeing, uh, Disney Classics Pixar's Monsters, Inc. I've seen Monsters, Inc. Scream Arena and stuff, but never that one. Uh, Tetris Worlds. Also picked up a copy of Grand Theft Auto uh, Liberty City Stories, a copy of Goosebumps Horror Land, uh, got a copy of Scarface, uh, Coraline, a copy of GTA San Andreas, another copy of GTA San Andreas, a copy of Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, a copy of Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix, Justice League Heroes, and last but not least, Ratchet and Clank, Secret Agent Clank. So that's a pretty good haul. Now, I just kind of want to make it clear, this is not a common day to find games like that. Um, uh, most thrift stores nowadays, their prices are considerably, considerably above our retail prices for stuff. Um, as I said before, that $50 Game Boy Color, the $50 DSs, um, stuff like that. They had um, like a bunch of Super Nintendo games in there too, like NHL Slapshot for uh, $10 and uh, like Super so Scope 6. Uh, just by itself the cartridge for eight dollars or whatever it is so this is very uncommon nowadays back in the day you used to be able to get stuff like this back in the late 90s early 2000s uh, nobody cared uh, you could always find old school stuff uh, for really cheap but uh, yeah so we had a pretty good haul I uh, picked up some other random things here and there for the store but I'd say that's pretty good for for a trip considering usually you strike out nowadays and uh, we don't go too often to thrift stores anymore so I thought we'd just do a special trip because we had a day off in the middle of the week and, um, you know, you guys seem to like our last one that we went to. So, but uh, yeah, good haul. Lots of good stuff coming into the store. Um, and uh, yeah, all the discs are in really good shape. So I'll see you guys shortly. Just down in the basement once again, um, trying to track down some stuff that I need for the store. Uh, looking for some uh, cables for uh, GameCube N64 and uh, Super Nintendo, if I can track any of those down. Uh, the one thing I needed to find definitely was this guy here, which I had in the other video that I did last video, the video before that, I forget. But it's a sensor for um, WaveBird controller, because uh, I have to uh, replace a controller for a gentleman who bought one from the store, which uh, worked fine for a couple days and then uh, decided to stop working. So it happens once in a while, but uh, so instead of him just getting a normal GameCube, GameCube controller, he's going to get upgraded to a WaveBird, hopefully. So uh, we'll make that right for him. Uh, failing that, um, I'm sure I can track down another GameCube controller for him, just a regular one. So just going to go through some stuff down here, um, see if there's anything else I can bring into the store. Um, I'm trying to, uh, you know, make things a little more efficient down here, but it's not really working so well. Just uh, backlogged. It's been a busy day today. And uh, yeah, so just trying our best to get some stuff done. Uh, and just organize and just make sure that the store is going to be busy. Uh, tomorrow's Black Friday. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, oh, what are your Black Friday deals? Um, we're not having any this year. And uh, there's actually a reason for that. Um, historically, every Black Friday that we've had, it's been dead. And I mean, like, ridiculously dead. Um, this Black Friday might be a little bit different. And um, I don't really know where to put this kind of correctly. But um, uh, people who get government uh, assistance or are on uh, disability and a lot of people that get um, like family benefit stuff, uh, their monthly uh, deposits come tomorrow. It's usually the last working day of uh, the month, which would be the 28th or 29th or whatever it is, because the 30th or the first runs on the weekend. So uh, it could be busy because of that. But uh, yeah, usually it's just it's just dead. Uh, we can't compare prices with big box retailers because what happens with them is that they have a like, let's say, 30% uh, off their their stuff. Um, let's say they got Oh, you know, like, um, I don't know, Halo is, is gonna be a 70, 79.99. It's gonna be 39.99. They don't take the hit on that. They contact their distributors or uh, the manufacturer, whoever it is. And they say, Okay, so on Black Friday, we sold uh, $50,000 worth of uh, products we got from you. And, uh, you know, there was a discount of 30% or whatever that is. So uh, give us 30% credit of that $50,000 towards our next order or give us a check back or whatever it is. That's not how it works with independent guys. You buy it straight up and if there's a price drop, you're done. So uh, we're going to figure out uh, something else to kind of be competitive. But uh, yeah, it's not going to be Black Friday deals tomorrow. It's just, 
it's usually dead. Nobody comes in um, for Black Friday deals. It's usually just uh, people coming in for, um, you know, regular stuff. And uh, that's, they go to, you know, Walmart and Best Buy and EB Games and stuff like that for, for the Black Friday anyways. And, you know, that's just the reality of the situation. So I'll finish up here and then I'll talk to you guys shortly. Well, guys, it's just after midnight. I uh, got everything all packed up, ready to go to the store. A um, lot, of, lot of stuff going on today. Busy day. Uh, had some really good finds at the thrift stores. Um, you know, it was a pretty busy day at work too, even though I wasn't in, so that was good. Um, and then yesterday as well was an extremely busy day, so I just passed out <laughs> super early and uh, didn't record uh, last night, so I'm making two videos in one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it might be a little bit longer than normal. Um, I don't really know because I have to add all the clips up and stuff like that, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed our little adventure out to the thrift stores. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for coming along with me today and uh, yesterday uh, at work and on our adventures. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys next time.